What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're focusing on Rugby Australia and the fight for survival that they've currently been under and now on the, the route of hitting that reset button and starting over and forming a phenomenal rugby nation that we all once knew was. 91, David Campisi era. You've got John Eels lifting the World Cup trophy in 1999. I mean, they've won two World Cup trophies. They've been in the finals. They've had opportunities. There's so much potential within Rugby Australia. If run properly by the right administrators, by the right management and the right coaching system, they can definitely fight back and get to where they once were. It's not impossible. I mean, we've seen miracles happen. South Africa being in the worst state to becoming number one and winning the World Cup. Australia can do the same. They're currently sitting at 7th in the world, which is their lowest they've been in an extremely long time, if not the lowest ever for Australia. So it's the lowest they can go. The only way forward is up. And now's the time for them to set the reset button. And what a way to do it by World Rugby giving them the, some of the relief fund. Now, World Rugby obviously apply for the relief loan of approximately, a, talking Australian, 160 million um, Aussie dollars, which is quite a work of money. Now, of that 160, they're giving Australia 14.2 million as part of the Global Games Governing Body COVID-19 Fund. Now, this fund is ordered to really help these guys in a matter of the current situation that they've been through. Now, Australia haven't only just gone through the the hell of COVID-19, but they've also gone through the the troubles of Raiding Castle and the drama of two sides of the story there, but obviously that drama. You've got Israel Falau who cut the medal loss of, what was it, nine point something million. Um, so that's a big amount of money that they've lost out already. And now with COVID-19, you're getting no game time for your Super Rugby franchise, for your provincial teams, for your international rugby teams, all of that's been postponed. So now they need to figure out a way on how to build and regroup and refocus. So now this 14.2 million, although it's not a lot, it is a hell of a lot, which will give them the boost they need in order to move in the right direction and hit that reset button. Um, they were already sitting at a nine point something loss, or yeah, it was a nine point something loss, and of that a lot was for loud money. And then the predictions, would, which was obviously scary, they would have been in a worse state because of COVID-19. So now that's going to at least put them in a, an opportunity to, uh, after months of term, turmoil, to finally head into the right direction. And I think it's a good opportunity for them to really regroup, refocus, start a clean slate, and put all the negative behind us, focus on this tournament that's coming up in July, regroup, refocus and really show the world what they've got the cap old former captains are getting involved writing letters everyone seems to be giving up rugby australia the necessary advice on how to progress in the right direction so hopefully they can all work together and not against each other and, and figure out a phenomenal plan b in order to take them from the turmoil to the right direction and get them back on top where they deserve to be and rightly so. So all I can say is to Rugby Australia, I hope they can get all their ducks in an order to really get things going again because they have the potential. They are phenomenal. I rate them highly. I respect them highly. And I think now's the opportunity to really go at it. Let me know your thoughts. Can they bounce back? Especially you guys over in Australia. Can they hit that reset button? I strongly believe they can. We'll just have to wait and see how and what they do in order to get there. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.